In the two plus years of this channel, I've visited numerous hidden gems and abandoned places in the Northeast. In 2018, there was the ruins of Amatol in Atlantic County, New Jersey. Later that year, I visited the increasingly popular Centralia in the coal region of Pennsylvania. In 2019, there was Gravity Hill in Hopewell, New Jersey, and Madame Sherry's Castle in New Hampshire. Well, to start off 2020, I thought it was only appropriate to check out yet another of these local secrets. On this episode of Destination Anywhere, we're going to head to Ramapo Mountain State Forest in North Jersey to explore the ruins of the Van Slyke Castle. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the Mickey Shuffle for more videos on abandoned places as well as history and mysteries. The tale of the Van Slyke Castle begins much like many others, with a love story. The year is 1905 and the 55-year-old Vice President of American Tobacco Company, Charles E. Hallowell, is sick. While recuperating, Hallowell is assigned a nurse by the name of Ruth Alice Cole. Cole, who just happens to be 25 years younger than the wealthy businessman, nurses him back to health and then nurses him all the way to the altar. By October of 1906, the two are married in New York City with plans for a happy life. Unfortunately, those plans would come unglued within months when Hallowell suffers a stroke and dies during dinner in May of 1907, less than a year after the start of their marriage. By the time the will is portioned, Ruth Alice Cole Hallowell has left a quarter of her husband's $20 million estate, which in today's economy is roughly a gazillion dollars. Luckily, Alice wouldn't have to worry about spending all that money by herself because she would soon fall in love with an old pal of her deceased husband. Less than two years after the death of Charles Hallowell, Alice would marry a stockbroker by the name of William Porter in February of 1909. While the couple would marry and live at the Plaza Hotel during the week, they built a lavish residence named Foxcroft in the Ramapo Hills for weekend getaways. Ironically, it's from one of these weekend getaways that would lead to William Porter's demise just over two years into the marriage. It was a Monday morning in May of 1911 when Porter, his chauffeur, and three friends were all returning to New York City after a weekend retreat at Foxcroft. A few miles outside of Patterson, New Jersey, the Porter car would come in contact with a road construction crew and would overturn. The resulting accident would leave Porter pinned underneath the vehicle while the others would escape with bumps and bruises. Soon Porter was pulled from the wreckage and taken to Patterson General Hospital in critical condition. Unfortunately, Porter wasn't able to have his wife slash nurse by his side as she was on her way home from a European trip aboard the Lusitania. Yeah, that's right, the Lusitania. Anyway, reports vary, but she was notified that her husband was in an accident, yet it's unclear if they told her the seriousness of it. Once back on U.S. soil, she was rushed to his side and even helped his condition improve, albeit temporarily. Porter finally succumbed to his injuries less than a week after the accident, with his wife by his side. After losing a second husband, Ruth Alice Cole Hallowell Porter decided it might be a good idea to have her own will drawn up. At this point, she met an attorney by the name of Warren Van Slyke, and well, she married him. Van Slyke moved on up to Foxcroft and promptly changed the name to, you guessed it, Van Slyke Castle. The couple would live at the castle for the next 12 years until Van Slyke's death in 1925. For the next 15 years, the three-time widow, now known as Mrs. Van Slyke, would live at the castle before passing away herself at the age of 64 in 1940. Today, some 80 years after her death, visitors can explore the place that Mrs. Van Slyke would call home with two husbands and for nearly 30 years of her life.
As far as ruins go, the Van Slyke Castle is definitely worth the short hike it takes to get here. Not to mention that Ramapo Mountain State Forest is beautiful as well. If you're in the area, or you're looking for some old history to explore, this place won't let you down. Well that's it for this episode of Destination Anywhere. Before I go, I want to give a special thanks to CB4 Visuals for helping me out on this one. And with that, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to the Mickey Shuffle on YouTube.